Batman is called upon to make the ultimate choice when Superman, his most trusted friend and ally, is set loose on Metropolis in a blind rage in DC Comics The Trust. What's up guys, Roman from RNS Entertainment here, and welcome to another episode of Comic History, the weekly series where I retell, explain, and give context to the iconic storylines, origins, and events in the world of comics. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a storyline that speaks volumes on the friendship and mutual respect between DC Comics' two most iconic and important superheroes of all time, Superman and Batman. The Man of Steel and the Dark Knight have had a long and fluctuating history with each other. At times they've been written as friends, even best friends, at others reluctant colleagues or even adversaries, but in any Superman-Batman story worth its salt, they are shown to have a mutual respect and admiration for the heroism of the other. For though they both have differing methods, strengths, and weaknesses, at the end of the day they both want to protect people and save the world. There are a number of great stories you could point to when trying to showcase the best aspects of Superman and Batman's relationship, but none do it quite so effectively in the least amount of page space as Chip Kidd and Alex Ross's The Trust. A story that while only 8 pages long completely captures the core of both of these characters in a way seldom seen, along with each page being a work of art on its own. Alex Ross is my favorite comic artist and has a way of bringing comic books to life in a way that transcends the medium, so I'm excited to finally cover something by him on the show. The trust begins with Superman crashing into and blasting out of the globe at the top of the Daily Planet, having mysteriously gone berserk and attacking the city he has always protected. From the roof of the Daily Planet, Batman thinks to himself that the media was having a field day with this and that the military wouldn't be far behind in their own attempts to stop Superman's rampage. Brandishing a pistol, Batman thinks to himself that it's time to do what he had promised Clark. Firing a grapple line around Superman's ankles, Batman is whisked into the air, trailing Superman's wild flight through the city while thinking that Clark had warned him that this might happen one day, but that he couldn't believe that it actually had. Batman asks himself if he can follow through on what he has to do, yelling through the high-speed wind, Cal, trying to break through Superman's blind rage. Superman continues as if he doesn't hear a word, oblivious to what's going on around him while Batman thinks to himself that it's all up to him. Suddenly, Robin contacts Batman via an earpiece in his cowl, informing him that he had found a high-frequency signal being transmitted from the Metropolis Observatory, saying that the frequency seems to be alien in origin, as Batman yells an order for him to scramble it. Robin yells back that he needs time, and Batman slams into the side of a skyscraper as Superman continues to fly through the city. Batman remembers back to years beforehand, when Superman had approached him and said that he loves this planet, and the people who live here, but that he has many enemies, and one day they may seek to control Superman somehow, and use him as a weapon against the Earth. Handing Batman a small lead box, Superman tells him that he now holds the means to defeat him, and as Batman opens the box of kryptonite, Clark tells him that he wants Batman to keep it, that Lois would never use it if the time came, but that he trusts that Bruce would be able to. With Batman still hanging on by his grapple, Superman blasts through the Metropolis skyline, with Robin contacting Batman to tell him that nothing he tries is working, the signal cannot be shut down, and the military has sent in six stealth bombers to deal with Superman. As Superman flies directly towards an office building full of innocent people, Batman thinks to himself that it's come down to this. Pulling out the gun loaded with kryptonite, Batman thinks to himself that never using guns was his one rule, the rule that no one had ever been able to get him to break, not even the Joker but that he's willing to break it for Clark. Batman aims and fires, the gun muzzle flashing kryptonite green as he takes the shot, hitting Superman square in the back and sending him crashing through the building window. As Superman crumples to the floor, Batman thinks to himself that at first when Superman gave him the kryptonite, he didn't know the best way to utilize it. He considered a final option, the option Clark intended of Batman using deadly force if necessary to stop him from hurting innocents, but that Batman had decided a gentler way was in order. Rushing to Superman's side, he pulls out what turns to be a kryptonite dart that was fired from the pistol, severely injuring and weakening Superman, but leaving Batman enough time to remove it and get it back in its lead container without killing his friend. Checking on Superman, Batman sees that an alien metal disc is attached to Superman's head behind his ear, pulling it off and smiling, knowing that Superman had only been under Brainiac's mental control and that now they had the clue they needed to stop him. Batman asks Superman if he's okay, giving him a helping hand and pulling him to his feet, 
thinking to himself that he wonders if Clark even knows what he is. The original myth, the one that humanity will always believe in. The last panel of the story is Superman and Batman breaking into Brainiac's facility and stopping him, with Batman thinking to himself that he doesn't know what the world would do without Superman. And that wraps up Superman Batman The Trust by Chip Kidd and Alex Ross, a brilliantly succinct and elegantly simple story that captures core truths of Superman and Batman as characters while also telling a complete superhero story. The idea that Superman respects Batman so much that he gave him the ability to stop him in a crisis shows that he has the utmost trust in his judgment and the utmost respect for him as a hero. And the way Batman is willing to break his golden rule for Superman and Superman alone, but is also able to find a way to stop Superman and save him at the same time, is amazing and perfect for the Batman character. Not only does Batman feel the responsibility that Superman has entrusted to him, he also knows that the world needs Superman, and by both stopping and saving him shows that the trust Superman placed in him is more than well-founded. The trust is a work of art, and not only in that each image is strikingly beautiful and worthy of being considered an art piece in and of themselves, but because it conveys so much with so little. The story is simplistic but exciting, the theme is straightforward but rich and complex, and the character moments speak volumes about Batman and Superman with exceedingly few words. The way this 8-page story captures the exact feel of the characters and universe is notable and impressive to me, and showcases the friendship, respect, and trust between two of the greatest fictional characters in modern mythology. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite Superman Batman moment is in the comment section below. Follow all of my social media via the links in the description. And subscribe to RNS Entertainment for weekly videos on comics, movies, and more. If you want to see more great stories like this, check out the Comic History playlist on my channel for all of the episodes I've done so far. And if you want to help support my channel and help me keep making great content for you guys, along with getting access to exclusive content and other cool rewards, make sure to check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash rnsentertainment. I want to give a big thanks to Drew Miles for being a $10 patron this month, and I will see you all next time.